Good morning. So <laughs> this week is going to be interesting because it's spring break here in Central Florida mm -hmm. and all of the parks have their reservations are all sold out. They're like already at capacity. Right? For the week coming up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing a lot of like off the beaten path stuff this week. We are. Yeah. So the very first thing that we're going to do is the other day when we went to give kids the world is we passed by, no, we didn't. He's like, no, 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 that's not what happened. The other day on the way to give kids the world, we passed by this like outlet center, not like the normal outlets that we go to. So in, in the past, we've gone to the outlets on Vineland, the ones near Disney and the ones near Universal. Right. So we've, there's one on International and one on Vineland. We've gone to both. Oh, okay. That's where we've gone to do the um, Disney character warehouse. Right. But then we passed by this other outlet. Yeah, that was like just on the side of the road. It was on the very end of International Drive. And there's also like other Disney stores near it. And I've gone to some of the Disney stores on 192 before that are like, like the giant wizard. This one's not quite like that. It is like decorated, like there's a mural painted on the side, mm -hmm. but it, it looks- It's part of an outlet mall. Well, one of them is, and there's another one just kind of off to the side. Oh, okay. So the one that, that I was thinking of is next to like a Gap outlet and yeah. like an Ann Taylor outlet. Like it's in an outlet mall. Right. And it says theme park outlet, which made me curious. Like, what does that mean? So we've never been there. This is going to be kind of an adventure in like just seeing what is it? What do they <laughs> sell? The necklace, buddy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. So we're just going to check out and see like, what do they sell? What <laughs> is it? Is it like the character outlet, the character warehouse? I know, he's, he just wants to go to the Disney store. Me too, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go check it out. We're going to see what they, like, what kind of theme park stuff do they sell? Yeah. Is it like a traditional character warehouse or is it like something else? I think it's going to turn out to be something else, but we'll find out. Well, it'll be, it'll be a fun time figuring it out. Right. We might also stop for lunch just because it's lunchtime and we're hungry. So is he. You can tell by the way he's biting. <laughs> he's not biting, actually. He's just like, I don't know what he's doing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. Here's where we decided to stop for lunch. First watch. Breakfast, brunch, and lunch. I don't know what I'm going to get, though. I feel like sometimes I get the same thing. I always get the Eggs Benedict, and then other times I'm like, I'm going to get something different. I think today, because we already had breakfast, so maybe we can do like lunch today. Maybe. Or, I mean, really get whatever you want. <laughs> I was excited because they have a new outdoor like seating area. Hey, who are you waving at? Who are you waving at, buddy? Are you waving at all the loud trucks? Yeah? He's like, kind of. <laughs> Jen got a drink called the Morning Meditation. It's orange juice, lemon, um, orange juice, lemon juice, beet juice, turmeric, and ginger. Ooh. Yeah. Looks it's nice. Like beautiful. So for Jackson, we got the kids' crepe, which is like a very thin pancake stuffed with bananas, strawberries, some yogurt. Oh yeah. And then we got millionaire's bacon, a million dollar bacon, which is just candied bacon with spices on it, like cayenne. Well, I think it'll be good. All right, here's what I got. I got the works omelet, but instead of getting everything in it, I just got basically a meat and cheese. So I got ham, bacon, sausage, and then cheese in there. And then I got, instead of, they usually comes with a salad greens and I got potatoes, because the potatoes are delicious. And then Jen got a huevos rancheros. It's on like a crispy corn shell. Yeah. And then there's black beans and pico de gallo. This has salsa verde and pickled onions, which I love. Yeah, it looks really good. You can have some. Okay. I've eaten my million dollar bacon and it was, uh, it was really good actually. It was very crispy. It wasn't too spicy. Like there's just a little tiny bit of spice on it. Let's see. Mm. Isn't it good? Pretty good. It'd be good on a hot dog. <laughs> it would be good on a hot dog. Before I finish out my omelet, I wanted to show you how much meat was inside. You can see ham and bacon and sausage and cheese and eggs. Everything is delicious. So this is where we're going, to the Lake Buena Vista factory stores. 
We'll see. It looks pretty nice. Like, uh, yeah, that's what I said, Jackson. This just says now open. So we know that it's open. So we're gonna take a quick spin around the parking lot to kind of see what stores are in here. G by Guess, Aeropostel. Here's the outlet. Oh, the theme park outlet. So it's not a true, D oh, it says Disney outlet in the window. But it says like, look at those like sunburned Mickey and Minnie's. Oh, fossil store. Strollers. What is that? Oh, luggage, luggage store? store Tommy. Tommy? Ooh, the Tommy Elfiger store is huge. It is. How come we've never been here? I don't know. I didn't know it was here. I didn't either. We just, we drove by it and we were like, we have to go. Right? I don't know why it's here. Oh, there's a Nike outlet. This seems more outlet-y than the, oh, Rack Room Shoes outlet. So like, shoes? I, don't know what that is. I don't either, but Rack Room is already discounted. So it's like a discount on top of a discount. Ooh. Old Navy. Rawling, they sell like baseball mug, baseball mitts. Oh, that's fun. Crocs, ooh, we're going in the Crocs one. The Polo outlet. Under Armour. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Calvin Klein. Oh and no. Houston. Oh no, it wasn't, sorry, it wasn't focused. <laughs> uh -oh. I was focused on the dirt on the window. Oh no. I'm sorry. I don't know how long I was doing that. Uh oh. Um, but you could hear us talking, right? Oh no. <laughs> so, you know, sorry. The American Eagle outlet? Huh. Justice, Jockey, an acai place. Oh, that's fun. Justice. That place is pretty expensive. And I know like lots of kids love that. Oh yeah, Kingdom Acai. Timberland Factory Store? Samsung? Reebok? What a, oh, Oshkosh? Oshkosh Bagosh. Hmm. Let's see. Bagosh. Okay, so there's the Gap Factory outlet. There's the Eddie Bauer store. We have uh, the Loft outlet. Express Factory outlet. Um, what is EF? Vanity Fair. Oh. So they have like bras and things. And I guess they also have Jansport and Lee in there and Wrangler. Oh, okay. Jansport, Lee, Wrangler, Vanity Fair, Just Watches, Vitamin World, World of Coffee. Oh, that's cute. They have like a little outdoor seating area that looked really nice. The Levi's store, Carter's. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. So we're going to head back over this way towards the theme park outlet, Disney outlet. All right. Here we are at the theme park outlet, Disney outlet. And then look at these gigantic Mickey and Minnie's right here. Also, she's mine. This is what an awesome husband looks like. All right, let's have a look. Come on, baby, dry your eyes. Oh yeah, look at how sunburnt they are. Look at this, you can just get like babies. Oh, like some Halloween stuff too. I love this one. Oh, yeah. I wish he was still nine months old, he could wear it. Oh, they have some, some Mickey and Minnie hand sanitizer. Some bathing suits. I like this one, like Hogwarts. I love this little Captain Marvel one. Oh yeah. I do think that it's, it's definitely not like a character warehouse. No, but but it kind of feels like they got all the stuff from the character warehouse and they're just selling it here. Oh, you think? Well, no, because they do have universal stuff too. This is cool. It feels like the store's out on 192, but like there's less stuff like this. There's just like an empty rack. I feel like this is just like oh. maybe. Rise of Skywalker shirt. Oh yeah. Words of wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy something here. This is great. Look at this. Stranger Things shirts too. Look at $12 for that shirt. And it's 15% off too, I think. Oh yeah, the whole store is. Yeah. They have some stuff that's not like this is Disney, but they also have like this Beatles shirt here. But like wait, wait, what is this? Island kinda, time, Disneyland Resorts. It kind of looks like a mix between Jimmy Buffett and like Disney Cruise Disney. Line. Yeah, I've never, never seen a Kingdom Hearts shirt like with a Mickey Mouse on it, like like this kind of not like the character Mickey from Kingdom Hearts, but like this. I don't understand. Why is it island stuff? There's kind of some great shirts in here. What? Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get this shirt because it doesn't make any sense, but I love it. I feel like this shirt is just from Target. I might get it though. Ooh, ooh, it's me. Oh, this is a very nice Star Wars shirt. Jen, I found the shirt for you. This is what an awesome wife looks like. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I would wear this shirt if it wasn't like a child shirt. Oh, yeah. Do they have an extra large? Is that, a, is that an adult large? I think it's a youth large. It looks pretty small still. Youth? It's an extra large youth. It's pretty awesome. I think it would be too short. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. Some of it just doesn't make any sense. I know. That's why I love it. It's a... Uh, it's a lion guard. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, who's the cat? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen the lion guard. Like the other cat. Yes. Oh, Superman. Oh, yeah. They've got some Grogu here. Some Mandalorian shopping bags. Phone cases for an iPhone 5. Oh, this bag's only $249. This is only $299, and it's all 15% off. And then this is 18. 17. Well, see, they know. Ooh. They know what the moneymaker is. Right? Oh, they have a bin full of second quality. I don't know what that means. Like, not the best, I guess. Oh, yeah, you can see it has, like, it's a little bit messed up on the printing. So if you want a shirt that says, I love my wife, that's just slightly messed up, you can get it for $6. They also have a whole bunch of plushes here from Mickey and the Roads to Racers and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They're kind of like real bendy. Mm. Wanted to kind of give you all an, a walking overview of some of the stuff that they have here. Got a lot of Frozen stuff. Got some Moana stuff. Well, they got Mickey and the Roads to Racers body wash. A guy sneezing. This place has everything. Got some Game of Thrones shirts back here. Hodor. And they have these racks that are just kind of like, like I showed you, the Beatles shirt, but also just random Disney shirts. Stranger Things stuff. Walking Dead. Hogwarts. Some Star Wars stuff. And then we got more Star Wars stuff and then Minions stuff. What's behind this shirt? Oh yeah. This is the Grogu shirt again. Well, they sell that in the parks right now. Right? So like, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know. Most of these shirts are like 10 bucks too. What's this shirt? This is awesome. Oh. That's like they took Yoda's head and oh. put it on. How much is this one? Yeah, see it's 10 bucks. It's cool though. It is. I wish it was an adult size. I would wear it. More Star Wars stuff. Mandalorian. Oh, this is the rest of the minion stuff. I don't understand the hashtag beast. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Ninja Turtles. Thomas the Tank. Mickey. Kind of a pretty eclectic mix of everything. The Fun Bunch. How much are these Olafs? I feel like this would be something people would want. It's a sparkle $12. tie. It's the same company that makes Beanie Babies. Does he have a beanie butt? I think so. He does. And there's a there's a uh, Sven too. Huh. Also a sparkle tie. They got a Mickey Mouse plate set. Some like sippy cups and stuff. Pretty nice. Oh, 140 tattoos. Got some mini ears for $4, $5. They have a have a pretty big selection of pins too. Huh. Oh yeah, I need to get that. Next stop, the Croc store. I'm excited. Buy one, get one 25% off. Buy two or what buy two get two or buy three get three free. Wow. That's a lot of shoes. I've never worn Crocs, but everybody always tells me they're so comfortable. Maybe I'll get a pair today. I don't know what's going on in here, but it looks so comfortable. Ooh, they do have some like Minnie Mouse ones here. These are $34.99. But if you buy another pair, you get that other one for 25% off, which is a common thing at shoe outlet stores where you have to buy one full price and then you get a discount on the second one. Oh, did you see these? Super Mario ones? These are cool. We could have bought those a few days ago on March 10th. Oh yeah, these are I like 44. The colors of these though. I wonder why these are more, expensive. more expensive. Maybe they're newer. Like they're more in style. They have, like, I think you have to buy these over here. Oh, I see. 
Oh, but you buy the little charms oh, okay. and you put them in there. These little charms are called gibbets and you can get four. If you buy four, you get one for free. If you buy eight, you get five for free. Or if you buy 13, you get 13 for free. A lot of gibbets. Oh yeah, look at all this. We got Jesse, the green aliens, Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, yeah, these are nice. Are these for Jackson? How much are they? Thirty-four ninety-nine. But we'd have to get another set to get twenty-five percent off. Right. But we can add the little charms to these. Ooh. So wait, do you want a pair of Crocs? Maybe you can get custom charms. You can have one that says Yeet. <laughs> what does it say? Crocstar. Swipe up. Let's get this bread. Swag. These are great. So I did it. I bought my first pair of Crocs. But we'll have a haul at the end of the video so we can show you all of the interesting things we bought. Yeah, also uh, that store seems like it would be a good place to come if you like are required to wear Crocs because I know that like sometimes uh, people that have to wear scrubs wear Crocs. Oh yeah, and they had some cool designs for like the, the clog ones. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's over here. <laughs> we came into American Eagle because they had mom jeans out front and I was like, this is what Jen needs. You're a mom. Where are the dad jeans? Where are the dad jeans? I want some of those. You're looking at some cute dresses. Oh, it's a romper. Oh, a romper. Looks like a dress. Yeah. That's fun. It's really cute. We found like a little angry Mickey Mouse t-shirt back here. Huh. Right next to the Dazed and Confused and Grateful Dead shirts. Oh yeah, here it is for 30 bucks. Oh, he's embroidered too. That's pretty nice. A place here called the Toy Company looks to be closed whoa look at this child holy cow i've never seen that before in my life the whole wall of funko pops in there too oh we came into the food court because this is where the bathrooms are and this is where all of the different food places are too like a buffet of some sort over here and they have pcg artisanal burgers pasta steak pasta steak and seafood and then wood-fired pizzas, and then Kingdom Acai. So we've checked out all the stores that we wanted to check out here at the outlet area. And I did want to say the theme park outlet was definitely not like the character warehouse at the other outlets. Yeah, it's not like a true Disney outlet. But it was interesting. There was a lot of interesting stuff in that store. Yeah. It was worth a stop. Uh, definitely no wait. Like the character say. outlets <laughs> down at the down at the outlets, the actual outlet outlets. It was like a four hour wait easy on a day like today. Mm -hmm. So we just walked in, there was nobody else in there and we got some fun stuff. So we parked near the theme park outlet and it looks like it's already closed. So we made it in right at closing time. It's six o'clock now. I would imagine they probably close at maybe like five, 5.30. But a lot of the other stores, like the bigger name stores like Guess and stuff like that are still open. So I don't think a lot of stuff closes at hours that are like five or six, but I think that that store specifically does. All right, who's ready to see what we got at the theme park outlet? And, and at the Crocs outlet. At the Crocs outlet. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we mentioned, but most of the shirts that we saw were between 10 and $13, but everything in the outlet was 15% off, like every single thing in the outlet. So um, of everything that we got, we spent a total of $65. Yeah. And the first thing that we got was a shirt for Tim. Yeah, it says Disneyland Resort on the front. And on the back, it says Disneyland Resort again. But So here's something that we noticed while we were editing, and I don't know why we didn't notice it while we were showing it to you or while we were buying it, but it says established 1971, and it's a Disneyland shirt. Walt Disney World opened in 1971 here in Florida, not Disneyland. Maybe that's why it ended up in the theme park outlet, because of this nice little misprint. But in my opinion, that's what makes this shirt interesting, and I'll wear it with pride. Then you can see, like, Mickey Mouse shaped islands here? It's such a strange shirt. I don't understand it. I also don't understand it. It's very soft. Yeah. Uh, the next one was the one that Tim thought was maybe from Target. I feel like I've seen something similar to this at Target. It's, it's a lot thinner than the other one that we just showed you. It feels like a different quality and it says Disney, like the insides, the inside does say Disney. Yeah. And I think the other one says, let me just look and make sure. Okay, so this one actually says like Disney Parks. Right. So, and this one was $12. And this one was $10. 
And then we got a couple of shirts. Oh wait, did we get another one for you? Yeah, we got, so this one is actually the one I'm most excited for. This is another one that just says Disney. It was another $10 shirt. It's just a plain old Mickey shirt. This one feels like it could be a Target shirt, but we're gonna do something cool with this one. Yeah. So we'll show you that. Maybe we'll do that in like a home blog. Yeah. Okay, but that one's a, a fun like craft project for later. And then we got this one for Jackson. This is a 4T and it was eight bucks. Yeah. But it's a really neat like geometric design. So he's definitely gonna have to grow into this. Oh yeah. But I think that's something that I like doing is you get him something now and then nobody else will have it when he turns old enough to be able to wear it. I don't think anybody's gonna have it anyway. <laughs> you never know. I don't know. Um, this one is a, just says Jurassic Park Universal Studios on the inside. It is another one that's a little bit too big for him. It's a 3T. But it's a Jurassic Park shirt. And this one was $8. Has a cool tri tri Tyrannosaurus like head coming down on the, it's gonna bite the logo. Oh yeah. So that was cool. And then these we just kind of got for fun, but we got these 140 all over tattoos. We got one Mickey, one Minnie Mouse. They were $2 plus 15% off. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna do some, some cool Disney tattoos. I know, that might be another one for like a home blog. But they're just like fun little cutesy tattoos. This one is, is the it? Mickey one. I think it's Mickey and the Roadster Racers. Yeah. You can have a, a cool Mickey on like a, on a Roadster Racer skateboard. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think this will be a, a just like a, a fun thing to do at home. And then we also got a poster. They do sell some posters. This was like the most expensive thing that we bought. It was $20. Right. So, and I don't know that it was worth $20. Oh, it doesn't look like very good quality, but it's the Mickey Mouse Barn Dance, the world's funniest cartoon characters in the Mickey Mouse Barn Dance. He talks, he sings, he dances, the laugh riot and sound and symphony. A Walt Disney comic drawn by a uh, Works. Recorded by Powers Cinephone. I think it's gonna be pretty neat. We need to get a little frame for it. I don't know. I think I it'll be believe... neat for like a play area. But I can't believe, yeah, we were gonna put it up in, in Jackson's like toy room. But then we also got, what did you wanna show him what your special thing that you got from the Crocs store? Yeah, so okay. we went to the Crocs store and I bought my very first pair of Crocs. I got these. <laughs> they're like, uh, they're this like, almost like a neon green. They were like the mint. foam green or mint. Yeah. And they've got little flamingos on them. So these are my like, these are my Florida shoes. I like them a lot. I think they're cool. Heck yeah. And they're really comfortable. Yeah, I was very surprised how comfortable they were. Also, it was very confusing as far as the sizing goes. You have to try on Crocs if you're buying Crocs because I wear a size 11 in tennis shoes. I wear a size 10 in Crocs. They're very like big. Yeah. Like they're, they just are like oversized in general. Like they're very wide, um, but, they're, but they're comfortable. I would say they're more comfortable with socks on. Oh, do you think? Yeah. Okay. Um, we also got a pair for Jackson. We got the Mickey Mouse pair. Yeah. These were 34 bucks, but they were 25% off because we bought two. Um, and th the funny thing is, is that they did try to sell us Crocs like shoe shine. Yeah. I don't necessarily think you need the Crocs shoe shine, but they are gonna try to sell it to you. Um, and they said that it makes your Crocs waterproof, which we thought, or I thought that Crocs were waterproof. Right, they're just made of plastic, right? I, I, I don't know. Like a foam? Yeah, I guess maybe they're not waterproof. So, Matt, very strange. I feel like they are waterproof. I feel like they are too. <laughs> I think they're just trying to sell you something that you don't need. Like an accessory. Yeah. Um, yes, that's, that is what it seemed like. But all in all, I feel like we had a pretty successful trip to the outlet. I, like we said in this video, this is definitely not like the character warehouse. It's definitely not like, like a, I don't think it's the best Disney outlet. And I think that's right. why it is overlooked by everybody. Cause a lot of people do go to the one on uh, the premium outlets. A right. lot of people go to those character warehouse outlets. And I do think that they have a better selection just in general. Well, we should also say like, that the people that work in the character warehouses are Disney cast members. Okay. So it's like an extension of Disney. Right. Whereas this is a third party. It definitely was not, it didn't feel like a Disney store right. at all. But um, it is worth a look. Like if you're going and you are, and you want to find some like heavily discounted theme park merchandise or mm -hmm. theme park 
themed merchandise, I guess. Right. Or um, maybe like a Beatles shirt. Yeah, I didn't understand that. <laughs> I would check it out. Um, there are definitely other stores around it that are worth a look too. So when you're doing your, um, you know, your outlet shopping, maybe stop by, see see what you find. Yeah. But we will definitely go to the Character Warehouse um, sometime soon to show you what they have as well because we haven't been in. It's been like over a year, probably more yeah. than that. Yeah. I think it's been more than a year. Um, but I would also like to go to um, just the 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 like weird disney stores around the outlet yeah because there's a lot of them oh yeah so we'll do that too yeah so all in all a fantastic trip out to theme park outlet and other outlets <laughs> and with that being said we're off we'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price